Hey, Justine. Who is this? This is going to sound a little strange, but I don't know you, Justine, and you don't know me either. But I need you to hear me out, and I need you to believe what I'm about to tell you. That depends on what you're about to tell me. And yeah, I, I don't know you. So you don't have long before I block this number. Don't do that, Justine. Please, just hear me out for a second. Okay, I'm all ears. What is it that you're so desperate to tell me about, stranger? Do you remember your boyfriend going on a vacation to Palm Springs last year? Yeah. Excuse me, what is your name? My name is Troy, but my name isn't important right now. What I'm about to tell you is, though. Go on, Troy. Do you remember your boyfriend visiting Palm Springs last summer? Of course I remember it. He went with his family for maybe two weeks. What has that got to do with anything? On that vacation, did he tell you about what he did? Yeah, he was staying at a resort. It was an expensive one. His family is wealthy. And your boyfriend, his name is Clifford, right? Cliff, yeah. If you don't mind, Troy, is it? Yes. Can you get to the point? Of course, sorry. Your boyfriend, Cliff. Did he tell you about a girl he met on his vacation? No, he just told me he had a nice time with his family. He just chilled by the pool and watched TV in the evenings. He's lying to you. How? You haven't explained to me who you are yet. I mean, I know your name, but how do you know so much about what my boyfriend did on his summer vacation with his family last summer? He wasn't watching TV in the evenings, that's for sure. Oh yeah? What was he doing then? Enlighten me, Troy. I just broke up with my girlfriend, my partner of three years. Because she told me something that I'll never forget last night. What was it? Well, you see, my girlfriend, Frankie, she went on a vacation to Palm Springs last summer. She painted a very similar picture to the one that Cliff painted for you. Just swimming in the pool, sunbathing, nice walks in the sun, that kind of thing. But I always thought there was something suspicious about that trip. She never wanted to talk about it that much. And she didn't have many photos on her phone from the vacation. It was weird. She's always taking photos of everything. So I forgot about it for a while. And I suggested to her that we go on a couple's vacation to Palm Springs this year, to the same resort. But she didn't want to go. I thought it was strange. In fact, I wanted to surprise her with the vacation. I'd already booked tickets. But she still didn't want to go. And then she started crying, saying she made a terrible mistake last summer. And so I asked her what it was. And she told me she had a thing with a guy at the resort. I asked her if it was just a one-time thing, but she said that she was sleeping with this guy for the whole two weeks. And so I asked her if she could tell me who the guy was, and she told me his name was Clifford Young. Your boyfriend, Justine. What? You must be kidding. I'm not. I wish I was. I wish I was joking. But Frankie had no reason to lie to me. She knew what the consequences of telling me would be, and she told me anyway. Maybe she was worried she'd see him again on our vacation. But actually, I just think that she couldn't lie to me anymore, and telling me was a relief. So you've broken up with your girlfriend over this? Yeah, I still don't know if I've made the right decision. I'm glad she told me, but I was so angry. I'm still so angry. And not just with her, with Cliff. How did you get my number? I found you on Instagram. Turns out we have some mutuals. So I messaged one and told them about what Frankie had told me, and they let me have your number. I'm struggling to process all of this right now. I don't even know who you are. I'm not lying to you, Justine. When I found out that this Cliff guy had a girlfriend, I needed to know that he wasn't lying to her as Frankie had lied to me. And if he was lying to her, I was going to hurt him. Like he hurt me. If this is true, I mean, thank you for telling me. I, I can't believe what I'm hearing. His family must have known. That's for you to find out, Justine. I've said my piece. I hope you can find yours. If you don't mind, Troy, can you tell me what Frankie's second name is? It's Frankie Ray. Okay, and where are you from? Brooklyn. Okay, that's where I live. Strange. Thank you, Troy. No problem. Goodbye. Florence? Justine? Is everything okay? Sorry, I can't talk on the phone right now, but I can text. I just needed someone to talk to. I'm going through something... something big. Okay. Is it anything that can wait till our next session? No, I don't think so. I think I'm spiraling. Okay, Justine. I need you to calm down. Try and find a safe space where you can tell me what is going on. Are you in a safe space now? 
Yes, I'm at home, on my couch. Are the windows open? Yes. So your breathing is steady? Yes. Okay. Is there any reason why you are spiraling? Or don't you know? There's a reason, yeah. Can you tell me? Do you want to tell me? Yes. Okay. Calmly begin at your own pace. Earlier, I received a weird text from a guy called Troy, and he starts asking me these questions, like, is my boyfriend called Clifford Young? Did he go on vacation to Palm Springs last year? All of this stuff, which was true. Okay, so did you know this Troy? Had you met him before? No, never. I had no idea who he was. But he told me that he had a girlfriend and they just broke up. And that his girlfriend cheated on him a year ago. With Cliff. When he was on vacation in Palm Springs with his family. I thought he was lying, but he had no reason to. So, do you believe this man? He said he wished he was making it up. I believe him. But you know what I'm like. My therapist, after all. I'm impulsive. I do things based on emotions. What did you do, Justine? I broke up with Cliff. I told him it was over. How dare he lie to me? He said he didn't want to tell me because it was a one-time thing that he thought he'd never see her again. And he felt so ashamed after it had happened, all that crap. But he lied to me. I was so angry that I told him I never wanted to see him again. But now I don't know how to feel. I'm lost. I'm alone. I'm panicking. I need some guidance. Okay. This all sounds very traumatizing, Justine. I'm so sorry this has happened to you. But you didn't make an irrational decision. Yes, you made a decision based on emotion, but your emotions are valid. You should listen to them, understand them, so that when things like this happen, you can learn to manage them. I don't think I'm managing right now, Florence. I think I'm spiraling. I'm all over the place emotionally. You're okay. Keep breathing. You'll get through this, I promise. Now, is there anyone close to you that you feel like you can confide in? Like you've just done with me. No one is picking up their phone. My mom, my sister, they've all gone silent, and they all hated Cliff anyway. I don't want to hear the hate to say I told you so advice. It's not advice. You need comfort, I understand. I need comfort, but I also want that girl to suffer. This girl that Cliff had a fling with? Yeah, I need to find out what happened, what really happened. I know Cliff didn't tell me the whole truth. He's such a liar, such a manipulator of the truth. I don't think that would be a good idea right now, Justine. I think you need to calm down first and try to rationalize things for a minute. Nothing about this situation is rational, Florence. It's crazy. I think I'm losing my mind here. Which is exactly why going after this girl isn't a good idea. For the time being, anyway. I think you need to do some meditation and work on a few of the coping exercises we usually go through in our sessions. And when you're calm, talk to your mom, talk to your sister, and then think about talking to this girl. Okay, thank you, Florence. No problem, Justine. Keep me in the loop. And let me know if you start having any more intrusive thoughts. Bad ones. Okay, we'll talk about it some more in our next session. See you then. Is this Frankie? Frankie Ray? Yes? Speaking? You don't know me, but I have something really important to tell you, so please can you give me a minute of your time? I don't know you, and this is a bad time for me. You can at least tell me your name. This is a bad time for me too, Frankie, and my name is Justine. Justine Smith. Are you trying to sell me something, Justine? No, I was hoping you could tell me something. What? I received some messages from a man named Troy yesterday. Troy? My ex-boyfriend Troy? Yeah, I think so anyway. He told me some devastating news. Is he okay? He's not okay, and the news was devastating for me. Troy told me that last year you met a guy on vacation and that you had a thing with this guy while you were dating Troy. This guy you met on vacation, this guy you had a fling with for a fortnight. Well, this guy had a girlfriend at the time, a lot like you had a boyfriend, and this guy's girlfriend was me. Was you? Yeah, was. The guy's name is Cliff, and I broke up with him earlier today. Troy told you everything? He said he would find out if Cliff had a girlfriend. Did you know? Know what? That Cliff had a girlfriend when you were sleeping with him. No! God, no! Tell me the truth, Frankie. I need to know. I need to know everything that happened between you two in Palm Springs. My lying boyfriend wouldn't tell me, and even if he did, I wouldn't believe him. But you have no reason to lie to me. Not anymore, anyway. I'm sorry, Justine. I'm so sorry this happened. 
I didn't know he had a girlfriend at the time. It was only afterward that I found out. I found his Instagram even though he told me he didn't have one. But how did it happen? On vacation. Did he make the first move or was it you? I can't remember, really. It was a long time ago. It wasn't that long ago. Try and remember. Well, actually, he was talking to my friend first. I wasn't interested. But the more we drank at the bar, the more he started flirting with me. And the next thing I know, I'm waking up the next day in his room. It was a one-time thing. I was drunk and I felt ashamed. He said he was there with his family. I spent the rest of the vacation trying to avoid him, but... I knew his name, we'd exchanged numbers, I don't know why we did. I had no intention of seeing him again. But it wasn't an enjoyable vacation, I didn't have a good time because I felt so guilty. I can't believe Troy told you that it lasted for the whole fortnight. Why didn't you tell Troy when you got home then? I was gonna, but... But what? I have a therapist, and I always go to her for advice. And I told her about what happened in Palm Springs, and she told me not to tell him. Because it was a one-time thing and I was ashamed about it and I wasn't planning on doing it again. So Florence told me not to tell him. Florence? Yeah, that's the name of my therapist. And you're from Brooklyn? Yeah. How did you get my number, Justine? I have my ways. How do you know where I live? Troy told me, but I'm from Brooklyn. And I have a therapist too. Her name is Florence. Florence Monroe? Yeah, and I told Florence, my therapist, about what happened in Palm Springs. I told her all about it, earlier. And she told me that it would be a mistake to text you. That's so weird! We have the same therapist? It's weird, yeah, but it's also weird that she told you to stay silent about it and then told me not to contact you. I think Florence knew who I was talking about earlier. I think she knew it was you. And that's why she told me it was a bad idea. Give her the benefit of the doubt, Justine. If she knew, she wouldn't have been able to tell you anyway. She would have been breaking therapist-client confidentiality. Yeah, but her advice has cost me a year of my life. If you had told Troy about this a year ago when it actually happened, I wouldn't be in this mess now. Well, you would be exactly the same mess, but it would be last year's mess. Exactly. You can't change the past, Justine. I realized it was a mistake not telling Troy, so I told him. I should have told him a year ago, but I didn't. But it's not Florence's fault you didn't find out last year. It's Cliff's, your boyfriend's. And it's my fault this whole thing happened in the first place. Well, and Cliff's. If you want to be angry at someone, then be angry at us. Florence is just giving the best advice that she can. It's terrible advice. Well, that's your opinion. And anyway, I've told you everything that happened now. So I guess I'm gonna go. I'm sorry again, Justine. I truly am. I hope you find it in your heart to forgive me. And Cliff. My head's so scrambled, but I'm not sure I can forgive and forget right now. I need some time to think. Remember, Justine, this isn't Florence's fault. Maybe. It isn't! I hope you can heal from this, but I've gotta go now. Goodbye, Frankie, and thank you for your honesty. Goodbye, Justine. My next therapy session was interesting, to say the least. I told Florence all about what Frankie had said on the phone, but she couldn't tell me anything about Frankie as it would break her ethical laws as a therapist. I did some soul-searching, but I decided that Florence had good intentions after all, and she's a good therapist. As for Cliff, we're working on things again. I don't think I'll ever trust him again, really, but I'm glad this is all in the past. Frankie said she hoped I would heal. It's going to take a while, but I think I just might.